Hi everybody. So I channeled a very specific message this morning. This was coming in um, kind of urgently. Like I was really pushed to make this video right away. Um, maybe some of you are planning on doing some spell work over the weekend, or maybe this is a warning to kind of shield yourself, uh, whatever the situation might be, but it's just something that I channeled. So I'm going to talk about what I, what I felt, and then I'm going to pull some cards to see what's going on. Um, I do want to say a couple things that this is probably only for like maybe three or four people on my channel. So, you know, if my Zodiac readings are resonating with you, you know, keep watching those, but sometimes I'll post random messages like this. And sometimes it will be your message and sometimes it won't be. So please keep that in mind that this might not be your um, reading if it's not resonating. And I also want to say that if you're the person in this story that's doing the black magic, I don't judge you for that. Even though I personally avoid doing black magic at this point in my life, um, I really believe that there are light and dark forces in the universe and that we have free will and it's up to each witch to decide what path they want to go down. Even if it goes, even if it does backfire on you, it's still, that's still your path to go down. It's still, you know what I mean? It's, it's still your choice to make whether it goes good or bad. That's, that's, you know, magic is universal. It's, we all have the ability to tap into these energies, you know, witchcraft is an art form. So, so I don't judge you for doing black magic. Um, I personally, I've, d I've done it before. I don't do it anymore. Um, I had, I've done one hex and that hex actually, and that was years ago. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't hex again. I'm just at that point in my life where I want to avoid that energy because I, I went down such a rabbit hole and had so many crazy things happen as a result of, um, you know, just getting, getting too sucked into that energy. Cause I, I was in a situation with my twin flame where I was constantly doing spell work against this um, mother figure he had in his life that was controlling him and feeding off him. And it was just, she was throwing, trying to throw demons at me. And we were just like, just back and forth at each other. And it went on for well over a year where it was just like a ping pong match. You know what I mean? I mean, I had to do it because I had to protect him. Like it wasn't, it was more like reversing spells. It wasn't so much a hex. I would do my reversing spells in a way where whatever energy she sent me or whatever negative energy she tried to send him, it would go back on her tenfold. Um, so I was just sending all her negativity back to her, you know, doing binding spells on her, doing whatever I could. And it's like, I, you know, I had to protect him. I just, I had to protect him. I had to keep him safe. I had to, you know, I want, I just wanted to see him heal and I wanted to see him better his life. And you know, get away from her, you know, because she was feeding off on him. Um, She was a psychic vampire and she was feeding on his energy and draining him and he wasn't conscious of it because she was doing these illusion spells and all this black magic on him and she was trying to, not to get too much into my story, but maybe maybe, maybe I'm telling it because someone here can relate to it. I'm not sure. I didn't plan on on telling you all this, but, you know, might, might as well, might as well. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, she was doing all kinds of shit on him and she was she had this woman that she wanted him to be with that she was um, helping her do black magic on him too. And he thought I was the one that doing it, but it was, I was actually the one protecting him from these women that were trying to control him and manipulate him. But, um, but yeah, it was a crazy situation. It was just, it was just back and forth um, constantly fighting her. And, and that's, I just wanted to bring that up because it's like, that was the one situation where that, where the hexing didn't backfire on me because well, I mean, for one thing, it was a reversing spell. And so I was sending her energy back to her, um, even though I was amplifying it. But it's like it was justified because he was being attacked and I needed to protect him. And I was also being attacked. So it's like I needed to protect both of us. But um, but I mean, it was still hectic. I still try to after going through all that for over a year, I kind of try to avoid doing reversing spells now because I know that that can just escalate. So I'm just putting that out there because I think some of you are thinking about doing a reversing spell. And you know what? I mean, I, I totally get it. Sometimes like you have to do it. If someone's if you're in that situation like I was in, like she wasn't going to stop. She was going to keep controlling him and manipulating him and hurting him for the rest of his life. And I was not going to have that. So I had to go up and, and, you know, a battle against her to protect him. But I'm just putting that out there because I know some people are in situations where it's like you have someone doing something to you, but it's just petty drama. It's like 
you don't need to really, um, I don't want to say you don't need to protect yourself from them, but it's like, just be mindful if you have like a hex or anything on you that you can choose between uncrossing yourself. So uncrossing work is basically, um, you know, cleansing yourself of that hex and then, and then doing protection work to shield yourself from that. Or the other route you can go down is doing reversing work where you send that person's energy back to them. But I just want to, you know, like I said, that battle went on for over a year and I don't regret it because it's like I needed to do that to, you know, I like he needed that help and he needed that protections. So I don't regret it. But I'm just saying, like, if you do a reversing spell, just be mindful of what you're getting into. It's like a ping pong match, like you're sending the energy back to them. And it's highly unlikely that it's just going to go back to them and that's going to be it. Like they're going to feel that they're going to know you hex them and they're going to hex you back and then you're going to send it back to them and they're going to feel that and they're going to get pissed and they're going to send it back to you. So I'm just telling my story and kind of putting that out there just so you guys understand, like, like realize that if you're choosing to go down that path and do a reversing spell, like you're, you're getting yourself into a psychic battle. You're not going to send it and get your revenge and move on. You're, you're going to be in a psychic battle for months, maybe even longer in most cases. Um, unless you're going up against someone who's incredibly weak, I guess there's exceptions, but, but overall I would, I usually, unless you just have to go down that path, I usually recommend doing uncrossing work and, and banishing them and, um, shielding yourself. Um, I have done one hex that backfired on me and that was years ago. It's not something I would do again. Um, my ex asked me to protect them from someone that was messing with them. And it's like, I just didn't like the woman and I didn't need to get involved in that. And that hex did backfire on me just cause I think it wasn't justified. Um, the way that I look at hexing is I, I mean, each witch has their own personal beliefs. I, I, I personally just believe in energy exchange. So it's like, if someone's hurting me and I, I send that energy back, I feel like that's probably justified because it's like I'm defending myself. But it's like when it's unjustified, when you just don't like someone or someone just pisses you off or there's like miscommunication and you hex them, that's when I feel like it's unjustified. But again, that's my personal opinion. And, and each each witch has their own beliefs and their own path. And a lot of that is you know, I think a lot of your beliefs kind of determine your path. You know what I mean? Like if you, um, how do I explain that? Like, like the threefold law, if you believe in the threefold law and I'm not mocking anyone who believes in it, but if you really believe in that, then that's, what's going to happen every time you do your spell work, because that's what your, that's where your energy is at. You're believing that's going to come back to you threefold. And so it is going to, you know what I mean? Whereas it just in my personal opinion, just from what I've experienced, it's, it's more of a mutual energy exchange. Like if someone were to rate me right now, I would hex them. I would definitely like I avoid black. Ma I avoid like dark magic as much as I can. And, and but when like when that does happen, like if I were to hex someone, I, I feel like that would be justified because it's like an energy exchange. You know what I mean? It's something that you can't just simply move on from. But um, I also want to say I didn't sorry, I did not mean for this to get like in, I didn't mean to like teach witchcraft here. I actually have a message here for someone who's doing black magic. Um because due to miscommunication, like there was a misunderstanding. I think it's another reader on YouTube. Uh, there's probably a couple, probably a few people in this energy group, but I'm going to get to that in just a minute. But, um, but I do want to say just for those of you, cause I know some of you are in that energy and I did a reading about a week ago or so. Um, and I don't know if this is a continuation of that or not, but I also want to say just don't work with demons. Just don't do it. Don't do it. They, they're out for themselves. That's never going to go well for you ever. Demons are very light, low vibrational. They they always are just out for themselves. Whenever I have done hexes in the past, I've worked with dragons or I've worked with dark goddesses. And only dark goddesses that I trust that I, I... I don't usually work with dark goddesses, but I mean, I've only worked with ones that I, I know they're open to me working with them. I know they're open to being called on. But overall, I try to stick to more balanced goddesses or, you know, even goddesses on the lighter side. So I just want to say that if you do ever decide to hex, I don't recommend it. But if you do decide that first, you just have to go there. And again, it's your magic. Even if it backfires, even if it goes badly for you, that's, that's your choice to make. That's your magic. That's, that might be a learning lesson for you, whatever, you know what I mean? I believe that there's different situations when it's appropriate and not appropriate, but, um, but I would just say never call on demons. Never, ever, ever. Not in any circumstances. Like, you just, you don't want to do it. That, 
yeah. <laughs> um, but any sort of dark magic is something that I... So any sort of dark magic is just something that I personally, you know, at this point in my path, I avoid that. I am thinking about making a Patreon sooner or later to teach people how to do witchcraft, how to interpret dreams, how to read cards, um, et cetera, et cetera. If that would be something you'd be interested in, please comment below. Just random putting that out there. I want to make sure that I have a good following for it before I go ahead and commit to something like that. But anyway, let me get to the story here. Sorry, I did not mean to make that a whole video about witchcraft. Um, like I said, each witch, you know, goes down their own path for, for better or worse. But, um, but yeah. I personally like to stick to the lighter side of things. But, okay, so the energy I get, sorry for rambling here, the energy I get is that someone is doing a hex based on miscommunication. So I'm feeling that there is a YouTube reader that thinks that another YouTube reader stole their content and they actually did not steal their content. The thing is, I don't think that this person understands that how energy, energy groups work. So sometimes I'll post a video and then I'll, cause I have like, I only have like three or four, um, YouTubers that I watch just for my own stories and whatnot. And they're, they're all, I know that none of them would hex, hex anyone. You know what I mean? I know that they're all like high vibrational YouTube readers, but, um, But I just got the energy really strongly this morning that there's a YouTube reader that thinks another YouTube reader stole their content, but they actually did not steal their content. This other YouTube reader just does not know how energy groups work. Um, the thing is, like, so sorry for rambling. So like I was saying, sometimes I'll, I'll post a video and then like a day or two later, I'll see another psychic post pretty much the same video. And it's, it's just energy groups. Like I don't think that they're stealing my content or anything like that. It's just that sometimes you know, there's, there's energy groups that I'm channeling for. And sometimes, you know, the, there's other psychics that channel those same energy groups that I'm channeling. Um, and vice versa, you know what I mean? Like sometimes they'll post a story and I, I won't even see it, but it's like, I'll post similar energy. Cause it's like, there's, you know, certain energy group, that's just how energy groups work. So, so yeah, there's a really strong warning that there's a, re a YouTube reader that's like just negative, or they just think that, they think that they just, there's misunderstanding. There's, there's miscommunication. I don't know why they think that you stole their content. I don't know what it was, but there's, there's that warning for some of you. There's a warning, not only for, um, if this is you doing that to another reader, there's a really strong warning that you do not realize how protected this person is. Like, cause I get a sense that this person did one hex and their guides pretty much just laughed and brushed it off and just healed this person of it. Like, just did not even phase them. Like, just removed the hex. And I get a sense that this person is planning on doing a second hex. Um, and if that's you and you're planning on doing it, you don't... You dodged a bullet. Like, you are really lucky that that person's guides just simply removed the hex. Like, you are lucky because this person, whoever this person is that you're doing this on, they have a lot of guides. They have guides from, like, all the realms. Like, every single realm you can imagine. They have, like, they are so protected. And their their guides could pretty much put you in the hospital. I hate to, I hate to say it like that, but they could pretty much ruin your life. Like, they could, they could take your YouTube channel away. They could, they could, they could put you in the hospital. They could, like... This is going to go badly for you. So this is a warning. Whoever this is for, I'm not sure who you are, but this is just a warning that the hex that you've been doing is, is based on miscommunication. This person did not actually steal your content. You just think that they did. And there's a warning here that like the first hex you did, um, they just kind of removed it, just kind of laughed it off. Like, really? She's going to try that? I don't think so. Like, nope. And they just... It didn't even phase them. Like, it, whoever you did it on, it didn't even, like, affect them. Like, they didn't even notice it. But if you do a second hex, I get that it, that this person's guides are going to get so irritated and so pissed that you're really doing this again instead of, you know, communicating like a doll and clearing this, clearing the air and finding out the truth and, and connecting with this person and, and figuring things out. Like, if you do this a second hex, it's going to backfire on you so bad that it's like you're... 
you're going to end up in the hospital or you're going to end up like, like you're losing your channel because you're trying to take someone's blessings away and they're, this person's blessings are um, like set in stone for them. Like they're meant to have these blessings. You're trying to take something away that's not really yours to take away. And if you're doing that, like the first time, like I said, the person, this person's guy has just removed it, just kind of laughed it off. But if you do it a second time, like they're going to, they're getting irritated. They're getting annoyed. They don't even want to have to deal with you. Like you're, a, you're a joke to them. I hate to say it like that because I know it's harsh. Like, but whoever this is, it's like, they're getting pissed and they're, they're going to take all that energy that you send out all that negativity and they're going to send it back to you like tenfold. Like you are going to just wish that you had moved on from this or that you had communicated with whoever this person is and cleared the air. And then you'd find out that, you know, this person did not actually steal your content, that they were just reading the same energy group as you. And so this hex is completely unjustified because this, this reader doesn't even know who you are, I don't think. Or if they do, maybe they saw one of your videos like a long time ago or something, but it's like they don't. They don't know you. They don't they don't even know what the hell's going on. You know what I mean? Like they don't even I don't even know if how aware of this they are. This person's guides might just be taking care of this for them. You know what I mean? It's like that per this person is that protected. So I'm just and I'm not judging you for that. I get like it's Mercury retrograde, so there's a lot of miscommunication during Mercury retrograde, but I just wanted to I'm not putting that out there to blame you because it's like you really did misunderstand something and you felt like it was personal, you felt like you were attacked when you actually weren't. Um, so I'm just letting you know that just because, you know, if you do this second hex and I get that someone's like planning on doing it soon, but if you do it, it's, it's like, not only will it not affect the person that you're sending it to, but this person's guides are going to get so irritated and annoyed that they're just going to send it back to you tenfold and your life is going to get screwed up all over a simple misunderstanding. Like this person never even stole your content. They never did anything to hurt you. They probably don't even know who the hell you are. So I want to put that warning out there for you that you want to just, you know, either move on from this or, or be an adult and message this person and say, hey, like I thought, like I had this misunderstanding, like I feel like this video that you posted was really similar to mine. Can you explain that to me? And like this person will probably be open and just be like, oh yeah, that was a mistake. Like, sorry. I mean, it was the same energy group. I don't even know who you are, you know? Like, you'll clear the air and, and leave on good terms and settle this. But but if you go up against this person, like, not only will you not be able to hurt them, but you're also, you're just going to end up hurting yourself. It's like, it's it's not even going to phase them. It's not even going to touch them. This person is so protected. And it's just all going to come back on you tenfold. So I just want to say that. And I'm not, again, I'm not, like, talking shit about hexing or anything like that. And I'm just saying in this particular case, you're going up against someone who has a lot of very powerful, very strong guides and you're also doing it for the wrong reasons. You're doing it due to a misunderstanding when this person never did anything wrong to you. This person probably doesn't even know you. So in that, that, that kind of combination makes for disaster for you. So I just want to put that out there that, you know, like, let it go, clear the misunderstanding up and, and move on from it so you don't end up really hurting yourself. And I also want to put that out there just in case you're the person that's watching this. Like if, if that's you and you feel like someone's texting you, it's like you're protected. Like you, your guides are protecting you. This, they're irritated. They, they don't, they don't take this person seriously. They're, if anything, they're just kind of irritated that this is even happening, but they're, you don't need to worry. Like you're protected. Um, I feel like this could also be, I feel like there's three or four different people. So, so that was, that was, that's two of the people that are watching or one or two of the people that are watching. You're in that energy where you're a reader and you're either trying to hex a reader and it's saying you don't do it a second time. It's not, oh my God, you're going to end up in the hospital if you do it. Cause it, again, cause it's unjustified cause it's, it's based on a misunderstanding. This person did nothing to you. They don't even, don't even know you. You know what I mean? So if you really need to send them a message and clear things up and say, you know, just, just communicate like an adult, like say, Hey, like I, I was kind of confused. Like you posted this around the same time I posted this. And like, you're going to realize it was just their chant. You guys are channeling the same energy group. Maybe you even have like an energetic connection with this person, which is why you're channeling the same groups. So you know what I mean? Like it's, it's a misunderstanding. So, so yeah, either move on and just let it go. Or, or if you need to message and clear the energy up, but 
whatever you do, I do not hex again because it's just it's going to go so badly for you. It's it's I don't even I hate to give give omens like this, but I don't even I don't like this dark energy. Oh, my God. I'm going to light, light sage. <laughs> But it's like you just don't even know how bad this is about to backfire because you're doing it. You're doing all this, this all this negative crap based on miscommunication that you just need to communicate like an adult and clear the air. Especially during Mercury Retrograde, like miscommunication is really common, so it happens. Um, and then, yeah, the other person that's watching, just letting you know, like, you're protected. You don't need to worry about this. Like, your guides... Like I said, your guides are... Your guides think it's funny almost. Like they like the first hex, they kind of thought it was like amusing. Like, is she serious? Like, like a little ant going up against someone. They're like, really? They're like trying to. They're trying to scream at her like intuitively. Like, dude, you're <laughs> you're in the wrong. Like, you it's a misunderstanding. <laughs> like, let it go. You misunderstood something. Move along. Um. But it's like the second time they're getting irritated. They're 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 gonna go all out on this person if they try it a second time. So so yeah, just know if you're the person doing it, just just stop. Just message if you need to clear the air, um, or if you're the person experiencing this, just trust your guides and know that you're protected. Um, just you know, envision yourself in a bubble. Like you're you're good. You're safe. For others, I feel like there's a couple other people people here too. Sorry. So you're probably like waiting for your story. You're like, tell me my story already. Stop rambling about these other people. Um, so that's for two people. And then there's also some people that are like two or three more people who might be... What's going on with you? Actually, I'm going to pull some tarot. Oh, God. I'm going to pull some tarot cards. So for the other two of you, what is your story? Tower. Strength. Okay, for the other two of you, I feel like this is two, God, is it two men or is it two women? Or I guess it could be like a gay or lesbian couple, I don't know. But there's like this energy that you're going up against somebody. So this is why I really want to like start teaching witchcraft on here. Please comment below if you'd be into that because I really want to show you guys there are loopholes to hexing. Like you don't need to get sucked into a psychic battle. You can do banishing spells and push the person away. You can do binding spells and just stop them from affecting you. You can, you know, do uncrossing work and just protect yourself and move on from it. You know what I mean? Like, you don't always... I'm not saying that's always the case. Like, sometimes... Like, in my case with my twin flame, like, I had to get involved in that psychic battle because I had to protect him, you know? Like, she had demons all over him, and I would remove his demons, and then he would invite them back in. And then I would remove them and try to protect him. And he was just, like, it was familiar to him. You know what I mean? Like, I think that, I think that it was hard for him to let go of. He, he had, it's not, it's not to get too much into my story, but, you know, it was someone that had been manipulating him for lifetimes. It's someone who was present, presenting herself as a mother figure and manipulating him for, you know, lifetimes after lifetimes. And he didn't see it. You know what I mean? So I was, like, trying to just protect him from all that. Um, so, I mean, like I'm saying, there's sometimes, yeah, where you have to get involved in psychic battles where someone really wants to do you harm or they want to do the person that you love harm. But if this is your story, I feel like that's not one of these cases. This is more of the case where there's better alternatives. This is... Okay, so for this story, I feel... I'm going to pull some cards to clarify. But I feel like this is, this is um, two people where you, like, think this woman wants your man... And she doesn't. And it's just like competitiveness or jealousy or like there's some drama there. But I feel like you're like thinking about doing some spell work against her because you think that she's trying to steal your man. Or you think that like you just have like you like you just trust her because like she's you probably get like a dark energy from her, which is understandable. But that doesn't necessarily justify hexing. I feel like you think that she is trying to steal your man and she doesn't actually want your man. I feel like she's more just like jealous or competitive or there's like this 
So it's really important to like, don't do this kind of work. If you are going to do it, don't do it during Mercury retrograde because there's so many misunderstandings during Mercury retrograde. And it's like you're miscommunicating whatever your situation is. You're miscommunicating and it's like you're about to get involved in a psychic battle that doesn't, it doesn't need to happen. It just doesn't need to happen. She's not trying to, I don't think she's trying to steal your man, whatever, whoever this is for. I don't feel like she's actually trying to steal him. I feel like, um, let me pull some cards, clarify the tower reversed and the strength balance. Yeah. Finding a balance here. Finding a balance here. Like, you think, okay, so the tower and the strength reverse, like, the tower upright is, like, drama, chaos, like, overnight change, and the strength card, I would say that is, like, you having to be strong and you having to defend yourself, but I think it's saying find a balance here. It's, like, it's not quite as bad as you think it is. Like, yes, this woman probably is negative. She probably is toxic. She probably is dramatic. She probably is just a naturally jealous, competitive woman who just kind of wants to bring other women down, but I don't think she's actually, like trying to take your man I think that's just her energy I think that's just how she is with other women which doesn't make it okay but it's like your your relationship isn't as threatened as you feel like it is so it's saying to find a balance like no you shouldn't trust her but you don't need to like hex her or like do anything crazy against her either you know what I mean it's like she doesn't actually want him so it's like saying don't be impulsive don't be impulsive there's not there's nothing going on here you know there's nothing nothing to worry about here yeah you need to make a judgment call could be a fire sign you need to make a judgment call and you need to kind of just relax a little bit um I feel like there could be like another story here too I don't know why I didn't pick it up maybe maybe these cards will pick it up I'll see I feel like there might be one other story here too but but this is basically just if you're in that energy where there's like a misunderstanding like you're kind of thinking about hexing but part of you is like what if, like, I misunderstood her? Like, what if that wasn't her intention? You know what I mean? Like, then this is your story. This is, like, you're either, either you're, this message is to let you know, like, that hex is not justified and it's going to backfire badly, so you need to back away from it. Or it's your story and it's your guides are letting you know that you're protected. And if someone is hexing you, like, you don't want to feed that energy more. You know what I mean? Like, you can just simply do an uncrossing spell and you're going to be okay. Like, you don't, you know what I mean? Like, don't, if you're like, oh my God, someone's hexing me. Like, they're going to kill me. Like, I'm going to, you know what I mean? Like, you, you're feeding that and you're giving them power. Like, don't, don't give them any power. They don't deserve it. You just, you uncross yourself. You protect yourself. You're, you're okay. Especially if this is your story because you've got a lot of guides around. You're really, really protected. Um... God, so there's two women that are fighting, but they're fighting over a man, and they don't realize that one of them doesn't even want the man. They're just competitive. Um, God, I feel like there's a third story, but what is it? What is it? Do I have a gay guy watching or a lesbian guy watching? Or a lesbian, oh my God, a lesbian guy. Do I have, like, a lesbian woman watching? Because I feel like that energy, like, there might be, um, um, I love the LGBT community, by the way. I love you guys. I love you guys. You're the best. Um, I just feel like there's like a gay guy that this story is, the third story is for. I don't know who he is, though. But I feel like maybe that will like resonate with you. If you're like watching it, you're like, oh shit, that's me. Uh, and you're protected. I feel like you got good energy. You're protected. But there's a misunderstanding. God, what is it? What is that energy? It's like you just think someone's trying to harm you, but it's like it's not as bad as you think it is. You know what I mean? And sometimes, I also want to say, sometimes people will passively hex. Sometimes people will, like, they will just, like, say, oh, screw that person. Like, sc like I hate that person. Like, just, I hope they're not doing well. And, like, kind of put that energy out there, but it's not like they're consciously hexing you. So that could also be that situation where it's like this person might be sending you negativity and you think that they're, like, sitting there doing spells when really they're just hurt or they're jealous and upset and they're, like, just in this angry energy, just like, oh, screw that person. But they're not consciously trying to hurt you. Um, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't protect yourself. Like, you should always uncross yourself. I think, like, once a month it's good to do uncrossing work because sometimes you just you step in, like, psychic spiritual debris 
and it just messes you up. So it's always good to just like, you know, you never know what you might have on you. It's good to just frequently do the uncrossing work and protect yourself, um, especially if you're doing spiritual work. You know, it's always good to do that. But um, but yeah, well, whoever this is for, it's like the temperance card is your advice. It's just finding that balance, like whatever it is, it's not what you, there's like an illusion here. It's like, it's not what you think it is. It's not as bad as you think it is. Like there's miscommunication here. There's their intentions might not be what you think they are. Complication. Your attention is required in the astral realm. Psychic chains and blocks need to be resolved and removed. Okay. So some of you do need to do the uncrossing work. Some of you do have these like psychic chains and blocks um, that need to be removed. You know, some of you do need to do that. I don't think it's the first group because the first, you know, the, that first, the two people where I was getting that someone was hexing based on... Um, like thinking another reader stole their uh, content. No, I think that person's like completely protected. Like your spell work doesn't even, it hexes doesn't, don't even phase them. Like it doesn't even affect them. But I think that the second or the third group, like you might actually have something on you. But it's also, it's not saying that you're weak or anything. It's just maybe like, maybe you're not, a, maybe you're not like a tarot reader. Or you're not into this stuff. So it's like, you don't know to like protect yourself. Like you don't, you don't bother having shields up because you wouldn't think anything of it. You know what I mean? So it's like, maybe there are some people that do need to do this. But I feel like maybe this person is doing this to you out of like, Maybe you guys got in like an argument and there's miscommunication and so now they're just like angry and throwing this negative out energy out there. But maybe it was like a mis like an argument due to Mercury retrograde energy. You know, it's like there's just some sort of energy of misunderstanding that whatever this is, whether you're the one being hexed or whether you're the one doing the hexing for this energy group, I'm just getting that whatever, even if someone is doing the hexing, there's still this energy that like there's, that it's based on a misunderstanding. You know, so this could be someone, I think this third group is someone that you were friends with and you guys just got in an argument and now, um, like, you misunderstood something or they misunderstood something or they took it as, maybe you were, like, trying to help them and they took it as rejection. There's just some kind of energy here that there was, like, a misunderstanding and that you might want to save the friendship even because I feel like you guys just got in your pride and ego and stubbornness and threw a good friendship over away over um over an argument over you know what I mean like you guys were on the same page but maybe just going in circles um and so maybe someone is like hexing now because of that but it's like you guys I mean yeah you could get in a spiritual battle with them and, and ruin this friendship further or it's like you guys could just talk like adults you know you know communicate like I feel like this I feel I'm sorry like I think we misunderstood each other um I didn't mean I didn't mean to make you feel this way like like clearing the air a little bit, you know, like getting, it's getting to the root of the problem, not just because some of you are getting this energy where like, screw this bitch, I'm going to hex her, I'm going to do, you know what I mean? Like you're dri diving head first and the temperance card is your suggestion. It's saying like, wait a minute, like these hexes are not justified. These hexes are based on a misunderstanding or like miscommunication. Like you have like a friendship here and it's like you guys got in an argument and they thought you were saying that they're not good enough or that you hate them or something and you were not saying that at all but they took you know during Mercury retrograde that happens a lot well you where you take their words the wrong way and it's that kind of energy where it's like don't just get in the psychic battle with them like talk to your friend talk to them be like I'm sorry about the argument we had like I did not mean that that way you know what I mean like I don't want to I don't want to fight with you like we had a really good friendship even if we do decide to go on separate terms like let's we don't need this drama with each other like let's you know what I mean like let's try to just go on let's try to just go our own way there's no point in in you know what I mean it's saying like don't get caught up in that energy that chaos of mercury retrograde try to get to the root of the problem what originally caused this person to hex or what originally caused you to hex and if you go back to it I think that most of you that are resonating with this are going to find that the the root of it is the misunderstanding and it's the misunderstanding that needs to be cleared up like face like talk talk to each other in the physical Otherwise, this this chaos, it's just going to get more chaotic and more confusing for both of you. And you're going to be attacking someone either for the wrong reasons due to misunderstanding or you're going to be attacking like someone you were friends with also due to misunderstanding and miscommunication. So it's saying like, you know, yeah, you need to set boundaries too. You need to set boundaries, the empath here. 
could be an older woman, like a mother figure type or a spiritual leader. Spirits of the leave, leaving the spirits of the leaving. Jeez. Deep psychic bond, telepathic communication. It's just like this energy. Is I swear it reminds me of like what I went through with my twin flame because with my twin flame like. I was always, like, all the spells I did for him were positive. Like, I did, like, money spells for him. I did, like, healing, like, abundance, like, constantly, seal like, protecting him, sending him good energy. And, um, like, all the negative I spells that I did were against this mother figure he had in his life that, were tr that was trying to control him. And the whole time, like, he was thinking that I was doing black magic on him when I was actually doing magic against her and I was doing positive spells for him to protect him, to heal him, to get him. Like I did like spell work to, um, cause he was working with her at the time and I did spell work to have his clients follow him to, to whatever new location he might decide to go to. Um, you know what I mean? To like follow him out of there so that he's not trapped with her. Like I did all this good spell work and he like, I don't know if he ever, I don't even know what happened with that situation. Cause we never really, we didn't talk about it, but like, the whole time he was, like, thinking that I was doing black magic on him, and I wasn't. I never did. But, you know what I mean? Like, it got messy for, like, a year when it's, like, he could have just straight up, like, messaged me, and I would have told him every single thing that I did. Spell work for him, spell work against her. Like, I would have just been straight up forward and honest. But instead, it t turned into this huge messy thing where he made assumptions, and those assumptions got worse. And then... Like, he attacked me and I had to defend myself against him because he was attacking me based on these assumptions that he made. You know what I mean? And it's like, it just went in like this downward spiral. And it's like very similar energy that I get here is that you're about to go down this rabbit hole when you can save yourself all this drama and all this chaos by simply just messaging this person um, and communicating with them. Like, if you've got them blocked here or whatever, it's like just... They feel like a friendship here for some of you. It's like It's like... For that third group, I feel like it's like a friendship that just like you guys got stuck in miscommunication and pride and ego. And it's like if you if you respond to this person sending you shit by sending them more shit and you go back and forth, back and forth, like you're going to just get caught up in this messy psychic battle that you can just you can cut it all out by just communicating with them, addressing the root of the issue, addressing the miscommunication that took place in the first place, letting your pride go. Um, being open, being vulnerable, being honest, like telling this person, you know what I mean? Like just, just straight up, like telling, like, like not getting into the psychic battle with this person. Like you need to get to the root of the problem and you need to communicate in the physical world. Otherwise you're going to go down this crazy rabbit hole where you're just going to, it's like this little tiny problem turns into this huge thing where you're just constantly fighting, constantly fighting, and it's just all ego. And there's no point to even fight. You guys don't even, deep down, you guys probably still love each other and don't even want to harm each other. But you're so caught up over this one little misunderstanding argument that you're just bouncing, you know, just back and forth. And it's like, you don't want to waste that energy. You don't want to waste your life on this crap. Nostalgic memories. Okay, show me that. Show me this. Show me some more. Show me some more things. Angelic realm. Yeah, someone's from the it's from the in, in, ah. <laughs> Swear I hate Mercury retrograde so much. I took a freaking wow. What was that I took last night? Benadryl. I took a Benadryl. Oh my god! I was having the craziest dreams. Like I was dreaming that I, like, jumped timelines. And I was, like, in this other apartment, and I was, like, freaking out, trying to figure out where I was. And then some guy named Turf, I was, like, friends with, like, this biker guy named Turf. And he was, I was, like, what year is it? He's, like, it's 2013. <laughs> I'm, like, oh, my God. 
Oh, that was, it was too crazy. I do not like Benadryl. I won't do it again. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. Maybe, what if, what if it was like, maybe I should take my allergy medicine. I'm like, don't do it. Don't take Benadryl. Take Claritin. Take Claritin. Take something else. Benadryl is the devil. All right, what's the story here? Enough of my ramblings. What's the, get to the point. What's the story? Substances. I get like a fallen angel kind of energy. Like someone is from the angelic realm, but they're like going through a dark night of the soul. Maybe they're um, self-destructing, sabotage, altered state of mind. This could be for you. Maybe maybe you've gone down a dark path and you're like, there's no saving me. Like I'm too dark now. I've given into the darkness. It's like, shush, shush. You're still an angel. You still got good energy. You're still, you're still, a, you're still an empath deep down. You're still a good person deep down. You just need to find that and reclaim that energy again. Don't go down this dark path. Or this could be your person that's like, you're like, oh my God, I thought this person was like so good and so high vibrational. Now they're doing all this. It's like, maybe they're just going through some stuff. Maybe there's still a connection here, but they're just going through some crap. So get to the root of the problem. Even if you decide to end this friendship, get to the root of the problem. Don't get in the psychic battle. And if you need help, like I'll, I'll give you advice for free. I mean, I won't like give you a reading for free. I don't, I don't do that. Like I, I charge for readings. It's like fifty dollars for a thirty plus minute reading for a video reading that I record. But if you just like want to like message me or or comment below actually, just so other people could see it, that that might be good too. So in case someone else is in this energy and they need the help, but if you're like, hey, like. I'm being hexed. What do I do? Like, just, just comment below and I'll, I'll give you some, I'll give you some advice. Um, like I said, eventually I want to create a Patreon. I just want to make sure I'm going to have a good following for that before I commit to that. Because I really do feel drawn to like teach you guys like witchcraft. Cause I think I have a lot of baby witches on my page too. And I really want to like, you know, help you guys get through that energy. I went through my awakening process alone and that shit was scary. I wish my twin flame would have like given me some answers because I just started going into trances and I still to this day do not know what the hell the trances were. I just, I just changed a lot and I'm like, I wish I had some guidance. So I think I'm here to give you guys that guidance that I didn't really get to have, you know, because it's like I had to just kind of learn on my own. I was like, okay, I'm going through trances. I guess I'm just going to have to deal with this. Just gonna have to figure out what the hell's going on with my mind on my own. Yeah, there's one more uh, psychic battle here, but, you know, you have victory after struggle. Might be someone just trying to physically block you, but why are they trying to do it? Why are they subconscious? Subconscious, so like I said, some of them, like, are just doing it because of who they are as a person. Like, they don't even they don't even recognize it, and you think that they're trying to steal your man, or you think they're trying to do this or that, and they're like, that's just who they are. They're not... It's not what you think it is. Yeah, it could be a karmic part. Hmm. Yeah, you need to like... Some of you are going through this path of the seer. Purging, rebirth, initiation. Claiming your power. Some of you, it might even be... This might even be part of it where it's like you kind of have to go through this. Um, this process to like claim your power where it's like your guys are showing you your guys are allowing this person to do this as screwed up as it sounds it's almost like they're kind of allowing it because they want to show you how powerful you are they want to show you that you are protected they want to show you that you can defend yourself they want to show you that um you know that you can clear this that you're not like you know what I mean? Like maybe some of you had it in your head like, oh my God, if someone hexes me, I'm going to die. It's going to be all bad. And they're like, dude, you just do an uncrossing ritual and you, and you shield yourself and you're okay. <laughs> like maybe some of them are just showing you your power. They're like, you are more protect. Like you need to have more faith in your guides. You need to know that in, in your own power too, to do your own uncrossing spells and rituals and just know that you're protected by not only by your higher self, but by the universe as well. Um, yeah, so it's like you're good. So again, three different stories, but that that's three main stories. I mean, maybe there maybe for some of you there is another misunderstanding that I just didn't channel, but if this is your story, if this is your if you're resonating with this, whatever it might be, it's like there's a misunderstanding that you need to get to the root of and you need to clear up so that you go, don't go down this rabbit hole and just end up in this psychic battle that lasts months or years when it's not necessary. Communication is the key here. Open, honest, 
communication, letting your pride go. Like when you do communicate, you need to be like, I'm sorry. Like I, I misunderstood something like, like, I'm sorry we got in this argument. I don't want to, I don't want to fight though. I don't want to get in this like battle. You know what I mean? Like if we need to go our separate ways, we do, but I'm really sorry. I think that we just, you know, miscommunicated. Maybe we can save this friendship still like that kind of energy. Like maybe we can, you know, like there's a need for critical thinking here. There's a need to be logical and not just, you know, get immediately defensive and immediately assume the worst. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, if you'd like a private reading, my info is below. Just send me an email. It is, it, my email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. And um, any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. And if this is your story, please go ahead and subscribe. And also, please remember if um, if you're interested in a Patreon account where I teach witchcraft and dream interpretation, among other things, please comment below. I just want to see what kind of um, following I would have for that. Before I want to make sure I'd have a you know a decent amount of people that would be into that before I go ahead and start something like that. So please let me know. Thank you for watching.